Walpole Film Festival started in 2003 as one of the first high school film festivals in the country. The program has been recognized nationally as a model for creativity and collaboration in the classroom. Students in the program are required to follow each step in modern independent digital filmmaking. This includes screenwriting, acting, art direction, shooting on digital cameras, editing on professional software, and composing original music. The festival culminates each year with a red carpet ceremony that celebrates the achievements of each crew. To learn more about this year's Walpole Film Festival and how to become a sponsor, please visit our website, walpolefilmfestival.com. Thank you and enjoy the movie. Wild night last night, drank way too much. First of all, you ate a three month old kid cuisine last night. Second of all, we're gonna be late for school. Dad says hurry up. Da 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 One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the club, so come on, let's ride to the Lickers go around the corner, all the boys say they want Jane, some dinner juice. you have to sing that stupid song every morning? Does this camera crew really have to follow us around everywhere? Um, yes, Sarah. I'm finishing a doc for Cashman's class, so where I go, they go. So, here we are on our way to school, or as I like to call it, La Escuela. You take French. Um, don't listen to him, he's just my chauffeur. Anyways, girls. Can you try to be home right after school today? Your mother and I got something really important to tell you. Um, I don't know what could be more important than my after school plans. <laughs> anything, literally anything would be more important than your after school plans. This piece of chewed gum would be more important than your after school plans. That's not true. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, stop, you're stretching it, you're Jean, stretching it. Stop Are it. Are you kidding me? What? Jean, Sarah! Sarah, <laughs> no. Watch where you are going. <laughs> no, you watch where you're going. Yeah, don't ever talk to me again. Got it? Yep, got it. Cool. All right, see you later, pal. Okay. Hey, see money, my man. The sun to my moon, the Chandler Bing to my Monica Fryer. Hey, Jen. So, I was thinking, after school today, we can grab a cup of coffee and discuss the differences between participles and gerunds. Do you still not know the difference? Nobody knows the difference. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people I'm in the sure class that- I'm pretty sure that actually nobody knows the difference, so. How's the documentary going? It's perfect. My life is super interesting and is definitely the perfect subject for this expose on the life of a high school student. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure yesterday you told me that the most interesting thing that happened to you was that your mother made potato bread instead of wheat bread? Uh, nope, definitely wouldn't say something that boring, so. No, I, I think you finished the thought with, this potato bread tasted so good, it was like a party for my taste buds. Uh, nope, definitely wasn't me, probably somebody else. Uh, bye, Cashman. I'm pretty sure. See ya. God, that's Marsha. She won't leave me alone. Like, she's so weird. Who dresses like that? Uh, what's with the camera crew? It's for Cashman's class, just act natural, okay? Okay, uh, so are you gonna stay after for the math retake today? Oh, sh <laughs> Oh my God, I completely forgot. My dad wants me to come home right after school. I have to go. Oh, okay. Bye, Jane. Yay, yay! Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm late for homeroom. Oh, you're not in this homeroom. Uh, I've been in this homeroom for four years. I have you this year. I don't think so. Doesn't ring a bell. Hey, uh, class, is this girl in our homeroom? Uh, no. 
Seriously? Cam, we've gone to the same school since kindergarten. Wigan Bulldogs? No? Nope. So, clearly, you're not in this homeroom. So, you can get out. But I'm in this homeroom. Get out! I can totally cut that out of the movie because it doesn't show like who I really am. Oh, oh my god, Jane, are you okay? You look upset. Uh, what? Me? No, I'm totally fine. Are you sure? Because you look like you're about to start crying. Uh, no, definitely not. Okay, well, just know that if you ever need anything, okay. I'm always- Bye, Marcia. Here for you. So what was so important that I had to cancel my after-school plans? Again, you literally had no plans. Yes, I did. No, you did it. Yes, I did. No, Girl. you did it. Girls, oh my God, sit down, please. You're exasperating. Your father and I have some big news to share. We're moving. What? Oh my God, we finally get to leave this place. I'm gonna cry. I got a great job offer, a teaching job in Holyoke. Literally? Where is that? Holyoke's in Western Mass. Western Mass isn't even a real place. Oh my God, oh my God, we can't do this, we can't move. Why not? Your mother got a great job and there's nothing holding us here. What about all my friends? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, sweetie. That's a good one. If you were this funny all the time, you'd probably have more friends. <laughs> I do have friends. I guess I do. Oh, I th she's serious. I think she's serious. Oh, honey. Ooh, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, listen. If you can invite all of your friends over for dinner on Friday night, we won't move. <laughs> I can do it. Good luck with that. Yeah, I hope you prove us wrong. I doubt it. <laughs> Hey, Dylan. Yeah, I thought I told you never to talk to me again. <laughs> yep, that was hilarious. You're hilarious. Anyways, I was having a few people over on Friday and was wondering if I can count on you being there. Two things. One, you don't have any friends. And B, yeah, B, I thought I made myself clear yesterday. Don't talk to me again, ever. Do I make myself clear? So we're off to a rough start this morning, but that's okay. It's all okay. Because you know why? Because my dad said that I didn't have any friends, but you know what? I'll still have friends. Yeah. Oh, Cam! What's crackalacking, my friend? What? You know, what's the DL? What's the haps? What's up? Oh, why didn't you just say that in the first place? Do I know you? Uh, yeah, actually you do. You got me kicked out of homeroom yesterday. Remember that? That was really cute. Thanks oh, a lot for that. I did? I don't really remember that. Wait. Wait a sec. No, I got nothing. I don't really know who you are. Well, anyway, Jason, I'm like 10 minutes late to Cashman's class. I gotta go. Jane. You know my name is Jane, right? Why are you in a rush? I don't have time to talk to you right now, Marsha. I need to make pretend friends. I mean, find my friends. I need to find my friends because I have so many friends. Oh, uh, why would you have to do that? Um, my parents are having a dinner party on Friday and I need to invite a few of my pals. So, as you can see, I'm really busy right now and I can't talk to you, so I gotta go, bye. Okay, well, I'm free on Friday. And she's gone. Okay, Cam, uh, let's start with you're totally, completely wrong. Okay, it was a terrible idea. As an English teacher, I'm offended by it. 
Um, and I don't mean to offend you, but you are that wrong that I might, okay? The Lord of the Flies is not the actual ruler of all flies all around the world. I mean, that's ridiculous, okay? There are no fly servants and fly subjects that feed them grapes or any of that. Um, and there's certainly no war between the flies and the bees. We all know as people that the bees are in danger right now of going extinct. So that's offensive, okay? And you've got to smarten up. I mean, did you even read the book, Cam? Cam, do you even have the book? Cashman, I need your help. Thank God. Uh, hold on. I can't look at you people anymore. You, everybody out in the hallway. Did I say both those things out loud? Uh, yeah, bring your backpacks. That's great. There's going to be group work. Just check the classroom for the assignment. Great. All right, what's up? How's the documentary going? It's ruined. My parents told me that we're moving, and I said that we couldn't because all my friends would miss me, and they laughed. And then I said I could bring my friends to dinner on Friday, and if I can, then I, we get to stay, and I can finish this documentary, and everybody will think I'm cool. But you don't have any friends. I know that. What am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Make friends. Make you, friends. You know I'm not the best at that. You do suck at it. Cashman! May it's true. That's not gonna help me in this situation. What am I gonna do? Okay, how about this? What if you be yourself? You just be who you are. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one, C Money. You're so funny. <laughs> Listen, I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but what about that girl that's always following you around? She's like your shadow, the person who's always like with you in the hallways, you know. Marsha? Marsha? No, 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 God. Marsha is not my friend. She's like so weird. She's always trying to talk to me. She has like no friends. And she's just like awkward. You are literally describing yourself. What? No, Cashman, no. Yeah. No, forget about Marsha. What am I going to do about Friday? This reminds me of a situation I went through myself as a teenager. This exact situation. This exact situation. This exact situation. I remember it like it was yesterday. What are you looking at? You can't see the montage? No. Uh, it's a mockumentary, that's right. Uh, to the VCR. Okay, so we've got Watergate tapes, Danny Boy on Wing, Can't Know, Snack of Popcorn. Can you sign that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, high school flashbacks. All right. Take a seat and buckle up. Please ignore my outfit. I would never or something like that now. The night before, my parents told me that we were moving, and I told them that I couldn't leave because all of my friends would miss me. They didn't believe me, of course, so I told them that I would bring all of my friends to dinner on Friday night. I tried to bribe people in my grade to go to my house that Friday night. I tried lying. I told them I was having a party at my house. Nothing worked. So I realized that you can't manipulate yourself into a friendship. You have to be your real self. That's it. I know what I need to do. I need to pretend to be something that I'm not and manipulate people into doing what I need them to do. That's the exact opposite of Thank what I so just said. Thank you so much, Cashman. You always know what to say. Jane, Thank just... you. Hey, Cam. Oh, hey, you. Jane. Right, right. I knew that. Sure you did. Anyways, I'm having a few people over on Friday and was wondering if you can come. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. No, it's going to be so much fun. There's going to be great food, great music, and great people. 
Wow, that actually sounds pretty lame. No, it's gonna be the hottest event of the year. It's gonna be popping. Hmm. Off the chain. Funky fresh. It's gonna be lit. Lit? Like, how lit? Like, real lit. Oh, hell yeah. I'll be there. You're cooler than I thought you were. Wait, really? Yeah, you said it was gonna be lit, right? Mm hmm I'll be there. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I can't believe that worked! Hey, you're Jane, right? Uh, yeah. How do you know who I am? Everyone knows who you are. You're the one who's throwing the rager on Friday. Uh, thought it was more of a get-together, but okay. Yeah, that's not what I heard. Cam told me about the tilt you're throwing. The what? How many people know about this? Um, alright, let me check. We got mom, grandma, um, the whole school. What? You're the coolest, Jane. Jane! What the hell is going on? I don't know. I told Cam that I was having a few people over on Friday, but he was the only person that I told. You need to put an end to this now. You can't have a crazy party on Friday. Oh God. Mom and dad will actually murder you. Oh God, okay, okay, okay. Uh, tell dad that I'm taking the late bus. Oh my God, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> People keep saying you're having a crazy party tonight. I think I heard somewhere that Danny DeVito is gonna be there. I wish. Jane, this is crazy. I, I didn't know that you were the party type. I'm not. Then what's going on? Marsha, I don't have time to talk right now. I have to go. <gasps> Why wasn't I invited? Ashwin, I need your help. Just the girl I was looking for. All the cool kids in my class are talking about this party. I heard Danny DeVito was gonna be there. I heard that too. I wish, right? How cool is that? Danny DeVito at your house, Mr. DeVito in your living room eating chips. Awesome. Cashin, we need to focus. All right, all right, I'm focused, yeah. We need to put an end to this party. My parents are going to kill me. Okay, I, anytime I threw a party and I didn't want people to be there, I, I can't help. I, they just never showed up whenever I had a party. Really? I feel like you'd be a great host. I know, right? Wait, I have an idea. What did you tell people about your party? I don't think that'll work, because people never showed up to my party. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh. Got it? Right. Got it. So what did you say to them? My parents didn't want to leave me at home with a bunch of people, so I told them that my parents were coming. Hey guys, just letting you know that my parents are going to be at the party tonight. Oh, hoo -hoo. Hoo. oh, wait, are you serious? Uh, yeah, no, I'm serious, but we can still get crazy, though. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, but not really, though. Count me out. Mm, yeah, me too. What else did you do? Well, my neighbors had young kids. So I just told them that it would have to be quiet so that they could sleep. Are you kidding me? Stop. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, hey. hey, Jane. Just a quick heads up. We have to be really quiet tonight because my neighbor's kids have to sleep. <laughs> Good one, Jane. You know we're going to get wild tonight. <laughs> I'm serious. What the hell? That sucks. You guys are still coming, though, right? over my dead body. <laughs> That's it, right? I mean, your parties can't get much worse. Um, my mom has a lot of allergies, so we could only serve tofu, celery, and wheat germ. There she is, our queen. Hey guys, just letting you all know that I'm allergic to like everything. So tonight we can only have tofu, celery, and wheat germ. Germs? I ain't eating no germs. I'm out. Yeah, me too. 
So I think that should do it. I'm happy that my horrible party skills helped somebody. Certainly didn't help me. Are you okay, see money? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm fine, sorry, back to you. What am I gonna do about tonight? No one's gonna come and I'm gonna have to move. Do you seriously not have any friends? Literally none. What about? <laughs> hey Cashman, yeah. I'm here for the retake. Oh, hey Jane. Um, listen, a lot of people are, aren't gonna come to your party tonight because they think it's gonna suck. Um, but you know, I still would have gone if I were invited. So what but, am I gonna um, do about tonight? Because now nobody's coming. Are you sure you don't have any friends? None. What about? I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm gonna miss the late bus. Oh my god. Vocab six. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Let's do it. All right. It's 6.15, Jane. Your friend was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. Jane, sweetie, can we just end this? We know you have no friends. Yeah, come on, honey. It's time to start packing. Enough! I have to come clean. Here we go. I have no friends. Shocker! I know it's hard to believe, but I, Jane, have no friends. Jane, we get it. It's not easy to make friends. You have to find people that actually like you. Like, what is that about? And they have to have the same interests as you. Not a lot of people like Mambo Number no. 5 as much as I do. Yeah, it's oh, a bad sound. So, I tried to be something that I'm not. I was gonna have like a crazy party tonight and the whole what? school was gonna- What? You what? Shh. That's not important right now. What's important is- Who the? Marsha? Oh my god. Uh, sorry I'm late. I just had to stop and get gas. Marsha, what are you doing here? Cashman sent me. Uh, he told me to tell you that you're a moron. Um, rude? What? Why? You said you don't have any friends. I don't. I'm your friend. You are? Of course. What's your favorite song? Uh, I don't know. Probably Mambo Number no. 5 by Lou Bega. <laughs> like, Shakespeare who? Oh my god. Okay, fam, please ignore everything that I just said. This is my friend, Marsha. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Jane's parents. Sorry I'm late, I had to go stop and get gas. But I thought... You said you were... Th Are you kidding me? I thought we were finally gonna get to leave this hellhole. Well, nice to meet you, too. Anything you guys want to say to me? <sighs> I would probably start unpacking if I were you.